man, Bill, that new Samsung dishwasher is looking sweet. I bet you can't wait to get started with your first dishwasher cleaning cycle. This seems like a good time to talk running a cycle from soup to nuts. As long as you don't get any crazy ideas about putting either of those things in the dishwasher. All right then, let's first cover the most common dishwasher cycles, starting with auto. Auto, formerly known as Smart Auto, figures out the amount of grime on your dishes and then runs the cycle that's necessary and efficient. This is a great way to save energy and lower costs. Not a bad deal. Normal is your go-to cycle to clean typical residue. Delay Start is a nifty feature that allows you to put off running your dishwasher for a time that better suits your schedule. Now, what if you set Delay Start, but change your mind? No worries, Bill. See the Wash Start Time display? Press Delay Start a few times until the hour increment disappears. Or touch and hold Start for three seconds. You're all canceled, Bill. Let's now talk detergent and rinse aid, which are more important than you realize. You must use dishwasher detergent for all cycles, except rinse only. Go with the manufacturer's recommended amount for best performance. All right, put that detergent in so we can get the engines humming. Uh, no, wait, Bill, that's for your hands. Never use dishwashing liquid or dish soap for the dishwasher. Always use dishwasher detergent. That sounds easy enough. But did you know there are different types of detergent? I know what you're thinking, Bill. Should I use enzyme or chlorine? Well, it depends on what you're washing. For caked on food particles, put enzyme-based detergent to work. When you need to dig deep to get rid of stains and odors, use chlorine-based detergent. The next few steps are easy to miss if you're not paying attention. <laughs> At ease, Bill. If you're using a dishwasher tablet, place it in the dispenser and correctly close the dispenser door. If the pod doesn't fit, try a different brand or liquid dishwasher detergent. Wait, Bill, don't skip the rinse aid. You might think that you don't need it, but that nifty little helper is custom made to speed up drying and keep water drops off your dishes. Now just turn the rinse aid reservoir cap counterclockwise to remove it and fill her up. There's nothing more frustrating than running a dishwasher cycle, only to find the dishes are still dirty when they come out. Ick, that gross white film. At this point, we need to do some testing, Bill. When you see what appears to be white film, hit it with some lemon juice to see if it comes off. All right, the white film came off with the lemon juice. That means what you're seeing is actually hard water. Consider purchasing and installing a water softener on your water supply line, or clean your appliance regularly with dishwasher detergent meant for hard water. Okay, so what if the lemon juice didn't get rid of the white film? That's not hard water then, that's etching. To prevent etching, Reduce the amount of detergent and set the water temperature between 120 and 149 degrees Fahrenheit. All in all, put the cleaning techniques you know to be proven into play, and your dishes will look shiny and new in no time. And if you want to stay hip with the times, monitor your dishwasher cycle and start it remotely with SmartThings if you have a compatible model. Running a cycle correctly will keep your dishwasher going for a long time. Let's recap the fundamentals. There are three key settings. Auto for an optimal cycle, normal for the usual grime, and delay start to move out the cycle time. Don't fret when you need to cancel delay start. Just press the button repeatedly to cancel. Rely on the manufacturer's recommendation when measuring your detergent and make sure you aren't pouring in the kind that cleans your hands. Enzyme-based detergent is for caked-on particles. Chlorine-based detergent knocks out stains and odors. Make sure you correctly place dishwasher pods or tablets in the compartment, and don't forget the rinse aid. 
shoot lemon juice at white film to see if it comes out in the wash. If it does, it's hard water. If it doesn't, you have an etching problem that can be cured by reducing the detergent amount and setting the water temperature between 120 and 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, take advantage of smart things so you can monitor and start your cycle remotely. Bill, your dishes look amazing after the cycle you just ran. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh no, Bill. You got wing sauce and chicken bones stuck on the plate. Crank up that dishwasher. <laughs>